Okay, so good afternoon, good morning, everywhere. So it's still the same. This is the part four of my update. Just little update for us to test. So all the warnings there. So we'll be touching about the Nano and GANS health gadgets. I just call them gadgets so you can have it in a pack soon. So if we can make a whole pack of it. So never forget to have your pain relief pen. That's our gadget number one. So everybody knows about it. I hope you have yours at home. But And we have our gadget number two. We can, I've designed uh, the Nano health wire helmet. So it's a 18 counterclockwise coiled Nano health wire positioned in three layers. The outer layer is nine, six, and three inner layer. So for application testing for brain and nerve processing, autism, MS, and paralysis. So materials needed, any helmet, a styrofoam material, so we can easily make holes. Nano health wire coils and tubes and some adhesive tapes. So it looks like this. You can buy this in any kid store or any store. So I just made holes, drill holes on the helmets and put the coils. So you can see that inner outer coil, there are nine layers, uh, nine, nine units of uh, nano health wires. And there's another six units of nano health wires in the middle layer. And there's a star formation, three layers, uh, three units in the inner core. So this has my, you can just simply use this as this, where that's my kid. And also we have gadget number three, the Nano Health Wire Belt by Andy Rose. I haven't presented this yet. So thanks to Andy Rose, he had prepared this presentation. So I asked permission to him to present this. It's a 55 pointed Nano Health Wire positioned and spaced accordingly on a belt strap setting. So for paralysis, weights to hips processing, materials needed, you need a foam, velcro strap, uh, pointed nano health wires, or you can use coiled, flat coils, adhesive tapes. So he has the diagrams here. This is the, the view of the fields, directions of the flow, the top view, you flat it out, there's a different points. And here's the top view of the fields. And we have step one, he, you need just to cut and bend the wires as we used to. So you, it depends upon you what wires you want to use, maybe the only pointed one. Here Andy used the pointed ones with a little bit coil in the end. And then he gently pushed the wires into the foam. Next is he make sure the correct spacing is made the what you have drawn in the diagram so you position it out so you gently push the wire into the foam so you remove the tape as you can see you remove the tape and the velcro uh, both covers the wire and makes it easy to use and simply you have this belt so pat yourself at the back of doing such a great job for doing this belt and you can apply this and andy rose updated me that he gave this to his an acupuncturist near his house and they're getting good results they're, uh, they're processing some of their patients instead of hours in acupuncture they just process it in seven minutes five minutes the the different back pains are gone and you need i should say all these uh, wires i mean nano coated yes yes all yes. The nano coated health wires yeah because it showed copper wires only Oh yes, uh, they, okay. So gadget number four, uh, this was uh, discussed, uh, shared by Stefano Baldas. So he was making a GANS patch. So it's a very simple, uh, it's like a band-aid modification using CO, dried CO2 and CH3 GANSes as the field reacting agent. So the applications for testing are so burn wounds, open burns or open wounds energize the emotional part. So we need dry ganses of CO2 or and CH3, nano health wire, the flat coils, adhesive tapes and band-aids or patches or just uh, practically the tapes. So this is the principle. The principle for this patch is when you place the fields of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen 
in a plasmatic form, they link with our main reactor, which is our brain. So it goes all through the body as it needs by demand because the brain distributes it directly through the link in the nose, which is connected with the emotional part of the body. So this is one way that uh, Stefano suggested how to use this patch. But we can, uh, how to make it? Just simple, just get a band-aid or any tape, cut a tape as large or same as the nose or it just depends on how, how, how long do your tape have. Cut another strip a little bigger. So maybe this one, you're gonna cut this strip of this to overlap this portion. Then apply on the first tape, strip a few dried gans over its length on, a st on the sticky side. So this is the sticky area and you can find here there's a in the area with that foam so you can put dried gans here and next you if you don't have any band-aid you can use any electrical tapes or tapes that you can use simple options the sticky side the sticky side and you put dry gans it can be as well but other options you can also use the coils you can make tiny coils Counterclockwise coils or the two coils, counterclockwise and counterclockwise coil, put it in this space. And then you close it. So closing, uh, putting the longer piece over the shorter piece of the tape, putting the two sticky side in touch. So you cover it. So you have no more exposure of the nanomaterial or the GANs in this stage and you can apply it over the nose or the area that needs to be processed. So if you don't have any those, you can use a simple tape as that. So the this same method can be used to heal wounds, putting it between the two strips as a spiral or a spiral nano coated copper alone with or dry gans with spiral nano coated copper. So maybe it can be more effective directly over the wound. So obviously you need to do the tape as to be proportional to the wound. So if bigger wounds, make it bigger patches. Smaller wounds, smaller patches, and smaller coils. And gadget number five, never forget to have your health cups, guns, and nano health wire cups. So we know that health cups are basic for energizing the air inhale and the water to drink. So application energizes our emotional and physical part of our body. So materials needed, you have your energized CO2 guns, how you made your CO2s energized with different fruits or vegetables, or minerals and you make paste of it or liquid state and the flat coils also we use adhesive tapes and plastic tubes so I've showed this already to you but here is the structure of it so you can see we can add the coils so that we can contain the fields inside you have here uh, if you want any fruits vegetables anything in your cup and the, this is a double walled cup as you can see, and there's in the inside, in the in between the double wall and the outer wall, you put the, your CO2 GANs as your base GANs. It depends how you make your base GANs. Energized GANs, maybe you have already put all the fruits that you want there in your GANs, recorded all the information already during your GANs, uh, CO2 GANs uh, harvesting. So, Whoever makes your blood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. Stop you there. I see you put. The, you're just gonna go on it. It says your blood, emotion, and the skin in the tube. When you put this uh, on your container or your cup, it only absorbs within the water what you need. It's personalized. What your 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 um, structure needs emotionally and physically. So when you add the blood, you specify a specific person. You individualize it, you customize it to your, to you. This is what you have to be careful. If you use the blood of anything else, you cannot give it to somebody else to drink it. Yes. Okay. Plastic cup. I've seen this done. Yeah. Preferably for one cup per person. So personal use, especially when you use your own blood. Never, also a warning, never mix the blood or skin in the any amino acid to the ganses and water. It should be in a separate bottle. So only the fields of it will be connected. And last but not least, 
all the guns held tubes. So you have seen this already. I many people have made bracelets already with this. Uh, it's the same the same use. Energizes the emotional part and the physical part. So you can see it here. What are the needed? So basically, it's the CO two guns bracelet with coils. I just added counterclockwise coils inside. Just not only pure guns, but also coils to help energize with nanomaterials. And just that's my update for now for Foundation Philippines about health and nano and guns applications. And we are already in uh, production next week on the pen leaf pens. So hopefully we'll be having uh, different models, maybe for the ones we will be distributing for free and some of the and we'll be also making the ones that will be sold soon.